Hello and welcome to this video where I have a new Microsoft plugin or add-on to tell you about. It's right here. It's the Microsoft Mathematics add-in for Word and OneNote. This works for either 2010 or 2007. So I'll pull up a Microsoft Word document here. And I'll start out by, with something simple. First, press ALT, ALT, and plus. It will bring up the equation editor box. Um, I'll type in something like y equals x caret squared and space for that to go into the exponent. Now once you have this add-in installed, you'll see an extra tab over here that has compute and graph as well as an extra tab up here, mathematics, where you can set your settings like radians, degrees, gradients, real complex numbers, the decimal places you prefer, and so forth. Once you have all that set, you can go back home. Now I'll go to Design, which brings this tab for Mathematics back up. And I'm just going to graph this. I'm going to click on Graph and Plot in 2D. So it brings this graph up. I can modify this. I can drag it around the screen change the display type and so forth. And you can play with that, get it the way you want, and then press insert. And then you have your graph right on your document. And you can print this out. So I'll do enter. Let's see something else. So I'll press Alt plus. And I have a new box on the screen here. So I'll do x squared space plus y squared space plus z squared space equals 1. Now I'll come up here to graph and I'll do plot in 3D. And now I have a 3D plot of the unit sphere which is pretty neat and it gives the, um, the three coordinate axes x, y, and z. And you can modify this, change the layout, the look of it, all of that. Um, I'll say insert and now you see down lower here, here is the graph. Okay, now I'll press enter, do something else here. Alt plus. Okay, now let's do some calculus. So I'll go up to integral, and I'll just do indefinite. Click the box here, do x dx. This is just an example I'm choosing to do compute and calculate. And here's the answer to the integral of x dx. Simply x squared over 2 plus a constant of integration, as you can see here. Arrow to the right to remove yourself from the equation. I'll press enter to move to the next line. Okay, here's something else. Alt plus. And I'll do another integral, which is here. And let's see. Another indefinite integral. Sine of x dx. Let's see what this turns out to be. Negative cosine. Derivative of sine is cosine. And the integral of sine is negative cosine plus the constant of integration. So I'll arrow off this equation, press enter to move on. So I'll do alt plus Let's see, x squared space plus x minus 1 equals 0. How about that? Let's solve for x. And here's the answer. x can either be this or it can be this. So I'll move on to the next one. Let's see, it can do, we can also do something like, let's do alt plus like um, natural log of 2, for example. And just do compute, calculate. And you can get it to the desired number of decimal places. So it works as you know, a simple calculator as well. Uh, I'll move on to the next line. Um, let's do something different here. Alt plus. Let's do um, a sum. So I'll choose the sum scroll down to where this is, next page. So I'll do x equals 0, um, and then up 
here, I'll choose infinity of 1 divided by e to the x, like so. Go to compute and calculate, and here's the answer, e over e minus 1. Okay, move to the next line, alt plus. Let's do some matrix stuff. So I'll go up to matrix, I'll run a 2 by 2. So let's do something simple, 1, 2, 3, 4. And say I want to compute the inverse. So I'll go compute matrix, inverse matrix, and here's the inverse. If I want the trace of this matrix, the second matrix, not the first, then I'll go to compute matrix and calculate trace. And here's the trace. Simply add these two numbers, you get negative 5 x. So arrow off, enter, and I'll scroll down a little bit here. Okay, um, let's do a list of numbers. So alt plus 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 5, comma 6, comma 7. Let's go up to compute and list. And let's see, let's compute the standard deviation. 2. Um, Okay, so I'll go to the next line. Alt, um, I have two lines, I think. Right? Okay, Alt plus. Okay, let's do x cubed plus, or minus rather, minus, I'm just making this up, minus 6x squared. Okay, let me arrow back. Space. Minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. Okay, and go up to design, compute, algebra, and factor. And here's the factored form of this expression. So enter. And let's do one last one. Alt plus, and I'll do a limit this time. Limit. Let's do x, and now do a dash, and the arrow which is right over the period, you shift period and you get your arrow and I'll do x goes to infinity of 1 over x space and calculate and it should be 0 so that's right and those are a couple of things you can do with the new Microsoft Mathematics plugin and you can find the tab right at the top here once you install it and it's found at this website right here. You can just Google Microsoft Mathematics add-in for Word. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.